Hi everybody, this is Matty here. Welcome to another amazing and exciting tutorial on how to use the Guild website. Today on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to post pictures, uh, to do format on your text, which is bold, underlined, italic, and apply colors to it, and how to upload like um, YouTube videos on a forum post or just like as a quick post reply. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring the website here real quick. So as you can see, if I go into picture of yourself, Tread, um, you can notice that you know several people asked me uh, how to put you know pictures on the website on the forums which is you know something they don't know because there's no more features of like attaching as an upload a picture like it used to be uh, before on uh, Wildsteed so I'm gonna go ahead there's like two ways to do this in order for you to do that you need to do that either manually or like automatically but you need to have like another um, image uh you know provider for you guys to upload pictures from your own computer if it's like picture that you find on the internet it doesn't matter too much because you will have a link to those pictures right uh with, i will show you how to do it uh in a moment so basically in order for you to upload like a picture from your computer uh you need to have like like i said like a website like uh, image shack you can have you know like tumblr just like all those stuff those are totally free so don't worry about it you just create an account i have this account with image shack for like over four or five years now and i had like any problems at all with it uh, you know i never upgraded to premium i can upload like up to like five gigabyte of pictures it's it's uh, it's a lot so like i said it's totally free just create an account feel free to do it and um the description will be uh, the link will be in the description below so don't hesitate and do it one right now it's really useful and comes really handy you can see your picture everywhere and anywhere at any time so so i'm just gonna go ahead since i'm already logged in uh just browse I'm just gonna select a picture I wanna just, let's say, um, here, let's say which picture, let's say uh, artwork here, okay? I'm gonna select the artwork, I'm gonna click on upload. Most of the time, I do not choose to resize the image, I just let it be to the original side of the picture itself. So I'm gonna just continue the image links. As you can see, I have like the links and the direct link. Most of the time, I will be using the direct link. So I'm just gonna click here, select the link, click on copy which is control C on PC and common M, uh, common C for Mac. So if you want to just post like a, a quick reply, so like here is a, a picture for the tutorial I am doing right now, right now for you guys. So I'm just gonna put, you know, past the link right here, you know, which is the link of the picture itself. So if you do that manually, you need to do like open bracket, whoop, yeah, Alt and 9 for my user. Just like open bracket, type IMG and close the bracket. As you can see, the bracket is like the squared one, not, you know, like the roundish one whatsoever. And you go at the end of the link, do the same thing, open bracket, but this time around, you're going to put like a slash to close to saying that, okay, it's it, that's the URL I have. Type IMG and close the bracket. That's how you do it manually to post a picture. Okay, it can work with like various types of, let's say for instance, um, let's say like pictures, you just type pictures, you know, I click on images, you see like, I don't know, oh, some cute stuff, let's say, uh, I don't know, let's say, let's take, uh, let's take, let's take, let's take, okay, this shark here, alright, this one, okay, if you original image, you select the link here, copy it, past it, you know, I'm going to do the exact same thing, you know, open bracket IMG close bracket and you know open bracket slash IMG to close it and this is how you do it if you wanna just like do it manually like you just click on submit and click here to view message and there you go you have it okay here here is a picture for the tutorial that I'm doing right now for you guys. So the first one that I put and the second one here. You can notice that the picture will automatically be like scaled down to the size of your reply box. So you don't have to worry about that. Even if your picture is too big, we'll resize it automatically. So that's why when I upload picture on image shack, I don't use to resize it. So those two pictures are posted. Okay, it's done. It's there, so you know people can view it whatsoever. But if you do it the other way, if you want to have you know like your text with colors and stuff like that, you have to click on post reply here over post a quick reply. So let's go ahead and click on post reply. Uh, subject uh, pictures tutorial. Okay, I'm still on the same thread as you can see you know like all the pictures are there and what other people post are there so for you to not get confused uh instead of like 
choosing like a new thread so I'm just gonna go ahead and select okay my text is in bold okay my text is italic my text is on the line okay then okay let's say I want this text to be in bold I'm select the text here and click on the first icon which is bold if you use like a PC you can select your text and, cl and click on alt B and you will select the string will be automatically added to your text same thing for italic just click the second one which is italic and if you mouse over every single one of them you will see exactly what they do and you also have right on the need here on this location what that will do to your text so if you just select your text and mouse over it will tell you that it's to underline your text to so click on underline so let's say I want this line to be uh, I don't know select a font color I want it to be red this one I want it to be yellow and this one I want it to be let's say cyan okay then I'm gonna head my text is huge yes yes you can make jokes about you know my text is huge we we know where this is gonna be aiming for I told you so you know whatsoever select your text select it my text is huge so your font will be set to 24 so let's say for instance I wanna you know put the picture that I have uploaded from image shack you know go ahead copy the link pass the link select it once again if you're a window user you can just click on alt p and we'll just add those automatically um, so you know you see like open bracket image and you know, kind of good stuff let's say for instance the other image that I just totally randomly pick from the internet select the link copy it past it the exact same thing you need to do select your text and click on the image button that's it now for uploading like a YouTube video like this one is pretty funny actually that brave recommended to me you should watch it's pretty funny I was laughing when I was saying that so copy the link I can just like show more option or like the share you have like the link which is right there there's like two ways to do that like either by that or just like selecting it on your address bar so just copy the text via the link just pass it select your link and this time around here you have like on the right hand side you have like video BB code extension you have like various format that are supported like Google VO Vimeo and stuff like that's so gonna select a uh, YouTube URL so just select click on that and doing it's done so as soon as I click submit you're gonna notice that all the formatting that I did will be there like see my text is bold is in red my text is italic is on yellow my text is on the line is on cyan and you see like my text is huge here the two pictures that I put are right there and the YouTube video so as you can see it's pretty easy but it just, you guys just need to know it because there's no more that feature that you can just like upload a picture like you used to have because uh, they support BB code because it's more secure over HTML HTML you have like more security fraud or you know like stuff like that so in order for keep the forums like safe this is why they use BB code so that's pretty much how you do it so if you have like any more questions or whatsoever feel free to ask and hopefully that was helpful and see you next time.